I'm in Grand Central and I'm about to start my first documentary. So what am I doing here? I was supposed to be at City Hall today and I was going to interview Rafael Martinez. Now, he's 74 years old and he has been reporting the news uh, for, I would think, at least 25 years if not longer. And he has always had access to the Blue Room at City Hall, the press. That's where they ask Mayor Bloomberg questions. And for the last two years, Raphael has not been allowed to ask Mayor Bloomberg any questions. I want to repeat that. For the last three years, Raphael has been forbidden to ask Mike Bloomberg any questions. What kind of questions could he be asking that could upset Mike Bloomberg that much? And Christine Quinn will not take his questions either. Now, Raphael got sick and, uh, so now I'm on my way to visit him in the hospital instead. So I'm going to start my documentary in the hospital from his bed, and we're going to talk about why Mike Bloomberg will not answer his questions, why his press pass was taken away. Norman Siegel fought for him and got his press pass back. So he is allowed, once again, to go where he's been going for quite a long time, many, many years, and report the news. That's the blue room at City Hall, but he's still not allowed to ask my questions, and Christine Quinn will not answer his questions. She will not acknowledge him. Raphael contacted me after I was banned from YouTube, and he said we had something in common, and that's how we found each other, and that's why I'm making my, my first documentary. Hey, it's me, Susanna B. Troy. I was supposed to meet Rafael Martinez at City Hall today. Instead, I'm here at the hospital. Hi, I'm Susanna. Are you Raphael? I am. How are you? Nice to meet you. Can I shake your hand? So we had a date today at City Hall, and instead we're meeting here. Oh. And I'm so honored to meet you. And uh, I wanted to ask you why Mayor Bloomberg will not answer your questions or Christine Quinn. So I'm, I'm here at the hospital, and I wanted to spot a hitting you, attacking you, breaking your camera. But first, I want to ask you, how are you? And you're being filmed. Where are you? Not feeling too good, no. I think I'm running a little temperature today, I was told. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to be here for a, a few days. Well, I'm here. I'm going to keep you company. And I brought you a charger for okay. your phone. OK. Um, how do I feel that Bloomberg doesn't take questions from yeah. me? Because he does not lie when I did ask questions about the poor, the working poor, the homeless, and the different ethnicity. Um, that, I think that was the reason that he uh, barred me from the Blue Room. And I think uh, in the history of the Blue Room, I was the first one ever to be barred from there. And um, Christine Quinn will not take your questions. No, Christine either. Quinn, no. Same thing. She's a puppet for Mike it Bloomberg. It is a puppet for my doom. I have written a few articles calling her Bloom Queens. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I do believe that the mayor do have some problems uh, to see the outcome of the election or the runoff last night. Uh, two people who have criticized him because he abrogate 10 limit after two referendum by the border in New York. In essence, he was saying that to the, the resident of New York, screw you, I, right. am, I have plenty of money, I don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, it's Susanna. Uh, Pedro Espada is the leader of the state senate majority, and his son attacked Rafael and uh, broke his camera, and Rafael said, help me. He didn't even realize that was his son, and um, Pedro Espada said, you deserve it. You, you need to be taught a lesson. I actually should have you tell the story. Can you see yourself okay? Yeah. Okay. Wait, start. Make sure you can see yourself. What Pedro Espada told me when... Wait, wait, one sec. I gotta get... Move over. No, you can't move. No, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move. What, what Pedro... Here, okay, here we what go. What Pedro Espada 
if that was nearby where I live, that I was asking him question why he was using personnel for the healthcare center on his campaign, asking him where he lived because he does not live in the Bronx. He lived in Mamaronek in Westchester County. And at that time, people were attacking me and pushing me toward him. When I, I, I implored to his father to stop them, they were hurting me. He said to me, they are teaching you manners, Papa. Terrible. That's ter just so, that's so thug-like. It's so it's horrible. It's hard to believe that a man that's the head of the majority, you know, for the Senate, could talk to any human being that way. It's so abusive. Mm -hmm. I've created a new channel on YouTube called Raphael by Susanna, and it's going to be my first documentary. It's going to be maybe the first documentary ever filmed partially or on my iPhone. I um, hope to learn how to do Final Cut Express, um, which is $200, and edit it myself. And the story is so important and needs to be told now.